you know, uh, out small game hunting again, my usual spot. Got my buddy Nick with me. Uh, we went out duck hunting. You guys haven't seen that footage yet, but uh, we went out duck hunting this last week and managed to walk away with a good amount of birds. Hoping to get out soon again. But this morning we're out here looking for fur, maybe some feathers if some grouse make themselves known. We're gonna find out, have some fun. Thanks for joining me. So to catch you guys up to speed, I've got one squirrel down. Uh, I'm out with my late uncle's 410 right now. I managed to hit it with a 410. You guys didn't see any of that because my genius did not have my GoPro recorded. So yeah. none of those events are on film, unfortunately. So my bad. Won't happen again. Just want to let you guys know. No, I thought the room fire right out here. I would have poked him. Well, I was thinking about that fucking, I got the 17 back in the truck. I was like, ah, oh, this literally would have been the perfect fucking time for it, too. I thought you should always come up here, one with a shotgun and one with a fucking rifle. You got two people. Yeah. I wanted the slim chance of taking a grouse with this fucking thing. No. So, these woods right here, it's the ones that I've seen a bunch of squirrels in but we're gonna go back in the corner and it was actually right around here where the grouse flushed out one over the top of me i've also seen squirrels walking around in this area and then this corner a little bit in there's a nice little honey hole of uh some mature oaks you can actually kind of see them that's where they start right there You're right over the top of him on that last one. I didn't have my fucking hammer back. I went to pull. But like I was saying, they're they're all up in here. And then over here too. Well, that's fine. Let's go look and see. I don't think we got anything, but no, I shot into the fucking brush kid. Yeah, your second shot, I saw it hit right up above where he went in. Because he went in, like, right in front of this little tree right here. He's probably up in a tree now. Yeah, because he came in right here. <laughs> That's a nice gully down there. It's actually a good little spot. This is, this is actually the hill I'd walk in on. So, if we can come right here, come down around and look in. There he is. Missed. Yeah, he's in here. He was right here. Because he was going this way. So, start going this way. I'm going to come down. I think I shot above him. What? said, I think I shot above him. Ooh, That's probably why I went in there. If you want to pull back out, you can. Yeah. Yeah, he's gone now. But that's exactly what I was saying. You gotta be very, very uh, on your toes because you will see them just hanging out on the trail like that right when you come around a corner. It's a red squirrel. Where? Right there. Oh. Oh, awesome. Here, I got there it goes. Bait. Use it for my trap line. There you go. I got two in the freezer that are gonna be for the trap line. Ooh, yeah, blood on my shit. Don't know what that guy was thinking. 
just sitting there. And they literally came up to us like, hey, what's up, man? Yep. I say let's finish up the day and just go sit back down there. I really don't like, like, unless, unless I have to, I don't like making my presence known. I like, when I'm out hunting, I would rather avoid confrontation if I can. Just because I don't like involving people in firearms if I don't have to. I was going to sit there after the last guy was going through. Nice throw! <laughs> really loud, watch him freak out. It would have been funny, but I, I just really don't like doing it. So, this isn't a bad one to go up and around. It would take us around the backside of the big fucking hill. Mm -hmm. Well, it would take us around the backside, and then we'd be able to come up and then in front. Where you met those guys with that dog, right? No, that was uh, in there. Oh. We took that right and then went in there a little bit. I'm, it's kind of what you, what, what do you want to do? Uh, I saw a bunch of scrolls down over there, so I might just head yeah. over there and just kind of sit over there, and then when you're ready to go, just come get me. Yeah, sounds good. I'll, uh, I'll probably sit up over here then. I've got one in a tree up here. So he's in one of these trees right here. Well, you want to just reset and sit back down? Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, this was the one that was up in the tree. I watched it climb down. And then, uh, I think it was this one. Yeah, it was this one. It's either this one or the one right there that he plumped and he started working his way because he came up behind that tree, came up here. 
and crawled right there. Well, there we go. Lucky Eric. Yeah, I was very surprised to see him come back so soon. Because I literally sat right back down right where I was. and He's probably like, man, I ain't jumping from nothing anymore. <laughs> well, now he definitely ain't. Well, do you want to keep sitting? We got plenty of time still. Makes no difference to me. Do you want to sit up over here? Do you want to sit up over there? I was going to make my way down. Yeah, I was going to say, go sit in there a little bit, because yeah. I haven't. I've only sat on the edges a little bit. Basically, where I sat with you this morning there yeah. is pretty much the only spot I've sat, or I've walked around it. I haven't actually sat in there, so yeah, go do that. I'm going to go sit inside, inside, and sit where I can't get into There you guys go. Finally got it on camera and actually uh, that's my second gray squirrel with the 410 ever. Other than that it's just been uh, pine squirrels. <clears throat> and that's only because well pine squirrels are stupid and they won't run from you. They'll, they'll come at you and just post up and start yelling. So it's easy to blast the pine squirrel but after already shooting at it once, it came down, and I was able to successfully get it again. So, it's going to be hard to point out, but you're going to see, basically, it's the tree straight up in front. And there's a bit of the, cl it, it clears up about, about at the very top third. And it was coming down from there, and I was able to get it. Watched it drop and hit the ground, walked up and... I can put her end to her because 410 doesn't quite have what it takes to uh, put them down, apparently. So they both needed follow ups. Not the end of the world. I don't plan on using a ton. I'm just glad that I finally have been successful with it. I could use your help. So, I've already hit him once. He's in this tree. So if you come stand right next to me real fast. In this big one? Yes, so, if you, it, you're gonna kinda have to come this way a little bit to understand. So it wise at the top, he, well, it kind of three ways, but he's on the right one, the, the thicker one that goes up to the right and, and, and curves instead of goes straight. I think 
I see his bushy little tail. He's right in that crook. Yeah. Oh, there you go. That's yours. Bang, scamper, scamper. Whack. That's yours. You got two. <laughs> Make it three. Motherfucker, you killed it. It's fucking yours. It's fucking yours. You killed it. You've got two already. What does one make? Fine. Hey, I'm just happy I got one. Well, there you go. I'm just glad it wasn't an Eric show today because I was feeling pretty fucking bad about it. I'm not going to lie. All right, I'm getting ready to go move. Uh, I'm going to go find my buddy and I can hear a barking squirrel over on his side. So we're going to see if we can try and track it down. Stay tuned. Sorry folks, I didn't mean to shove you in my pocket like that, but there was a blonde squirrel and I took off like a bat out of hell chasing it, hoping I could get it to tree up. And I saw it hit the back side of this tree, but I don't know. I saw it hit the back side of this tree, but I don't know if it climbed up this one or if it continued on to the safety of the private land. I don't know. But I'm fucking tired. 
So I'm gonna go back and find my shit. Hey y'all, out of the woods, done hunting for the day. Got, uh, got my squirrel all cut up and in the pan, getting it cooking. Doing a little bit of fried squirrel with Look at that, some good bread and got that maple. Got that bacon in there for that bacon fat so it fries up real nice. There we go, got my cornmeal breading. Looking pretty damn good. It's gonna be a good little meal. Not a big meal, but a good meal. So I'm looking forward to it. Uh, when I get it all cooked up and I get to sit down and eat some, I'll bring you guys back. Let you know how it tastes. All right, here we go, look at that. That's my food. Give it a taste. Oh, that's perfect. They are not overdone at all. It's not super flavorful, flavorful, but it's not bad. Thanks for joining me. You guys have a good night.